right now. All of that information is posted on our website. That's fox59.com slash vote. Now, even with the elections this year, not, may, may not be over in some places. Moves for next year's elections are already being made. One big race here in central Indiana will be for mayor of Indianapolis. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid takes a look at the potential that Joe Hawksett may be preparing to run again. When reporters recently talked to the mayor about running again, Joe Hogsett said he wanted to wait until he passed a bipartisan city budget and until after the midterms. Well, done and done. What's next? During a public appearance Thursday, as the mayor ticked off a list of big projects coming online all across the city in the next couple years, he sounded like a man excited for the immediate future of Indianapolis. Over the next three to four years, you're going to see a lot of cranes in the air all over the downtown area. Hogshead has lamented the momentum stall that slowed the city's progress in 2020 as the world responded to the pandemic and Indianapolis was left battered and changed by social unrest. But project groundbreakings all over town, repaired police and community relations, and anticipation of the 2024 NBA All-Star Game and the 2024 U.S. Olympic Swimming Trials would set up nicely the first year of the next mayor's term, which will begin two months after the November 2023 election. He would be the beneficiary in this case of much of his own work. A lot of people are looking to see whether or not he is interested in staying in this role and most importantly what he'd be doing, what he would continue to do, um, what he would do to enhance the legacy that he already has having served two terms as Indianapolis mayor. Even in the aftermath of the last year of 2020, Hogsett insisted his favorable poll numbers were north of 60 percent and a modest one-time property tax reduction passed in the last budget certainly wouldn't hurt an incumbent deciding to run again. Yeah, I suppose I could go into December, but the truth is I think the sooner I make a decision, the better. You know, I've loved being mayor. I've really enjoyed the opportunity, uh, but um, uh, I'll, be making a, I'll be making a final decision soon. The mayor's campaign called Hog Set for Indianapolis has a fundraiser set for Tuesday evening. The campaign at the start of this year had $2.5 million in the bank, a number that is sure to go above $3 million by the start of 2023. Meanwhile, the mayor's only announced opponent, Robin Shackelford, a state representative from the east side of Indianapolis, just announced her intentions this past week. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Now, as Russ just mentioned, Democratic State Representative Robin Shackelford has announced her candidacy for Indianapolis mayor next year. The Indianapolis native said in her announcement just this week that she will focus on making the city a safer place to live. Right now, people don't feel safe downtown. They don't feel safe out in the suburbs. I will be sitting down with the prosecutor and I will be sitting down with public defenders and also with law enforcement to get their feedback on what are some of those ideas. Now, if elected, Shackelford would be the first woman and the first person of color to fill the city's mayoral role. Coming up next, explosive problems.